Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I prepare a lesson about finding the exact values of inverse trigonometric functions. So kung yung lahat yung continuation lesson about introduction of inverse trigonometric functions. So paano natin i-determine yung mga exact values without using calculators? Kasi uh, meron tayong kung meron tayong exact values for trigonometric functions, meron din tayo sa inverse trigonometric functions. However, sa inverse trigonometric functions, and like siya may trigonometric function, ay meron siya limitation. So, based dun sa limitations, yung mga exact values under dun sa um, limitations niya, yun lang yung mga exact values na nandun ang makukuha natin. So, let us proceed dun sa discussion natin. So, for example, number one, find the exact value of inverse sine square root of 3 over 2. So, since this is an inverse sine uh, function, so, check natin kung ano yung uh, ranges dun sa inverse sine. So, based dun sa previous video natin, ito yung definition niya. Which means, uh, pwede tayong magbigay ng values in between negative 1 uh, in between negative 1 up to positive 1 and then, pwede rin tayo mag, uh, and then, yung answer natin will always be uh, from negative 90 to positive 90. So, we're in that is belong to quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. So, yung exact values na tinutukoy dyan, yung under unit circle. So, yung pinamahal lang din yung mga arrows natin, yung under 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, yung nandito, okay, that is uh, 330 degrees, 315 and 300 degrees. However, negative 90, so naka-inverse kasi tayo. So, pag ano yung rotation natin. So, therefore, this is negative 30, this is negative 45, and this is negative 60, and then negative 90. Under quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. Yun lang yung mga exact values. So, if we determine exact values of uh, inverse sign square root of 3 over 2. So, we consider yung mga values na nandun. So, we're in that is the values from negative 90 up to positive 90. This is negative 90, negative 60, this is negative 30, alright, uh, negative 45 rather, this is negative 45, negative 30, this is 0, this is 30, 60, and 90. Okay? So, yun yan. Naka-region form lang tayo. Pero ito yung degrees niya. So, therefore, whatever, kagaya lang din ang uh, sinabi ko, kabalik pa rin siya kung if sa trigonometry given si angle at inaalam natin yung coordinates dito, given ang coordinates. So, therefore, this square root of 3 over 2 is the coordinate. And we determine what at what angle. Since exact values, wala tayong ginagamit ng calculator. So, ito lang, based lang dito sa limitations niya. Ito. Okay. Yung ranges niya. Yun lang din tayo. Titingnan natin kung pasok ba yung square root of 3 over 2. Which is, eto mga values na to. Halapin natin siya dyan. We're in. Ito siya. Tama? And then, the corresponding value niya in radian is 5 over 3. So, therefore, meron siyang exact value at 5 over 3. So, the exact value of inverse sine uh, square root of 3 over 2 is 5 over 3. Or, 60 degrees. Ngayon lang siya. Beyond that, kung um, wala siya dyan sa mga values na yan, let's say, negative uh, um, 2 over 5. So, wala siya dyan, di ba? So, kung gano'n ang mangyayari, inverse 2 over 5, negative 2 over 5, ang gagawin natin, calculator tayo. Kasi, Kaya nga, exact values, ang kinukuha lang natin, yung mga values na nandito. Okay? Other than that, we apply uh, the use of calculator. Okay? So, yun yung ano, exact values. How about for cosine? Say, for example, number 2, find the exact value of uh, inverse cosine 1. So, again, tignan natin ano ba yung ranges between cosine. So, by definition, so from 0 to 5. Okay? And then, negative 1 to positive 1. 
Karain yung ranges na nandun dun sa unit circle. So, under quadrant 1 and quadrant 2 tayo. Ano 30, 45, 60, 90. This is 120, 135, 150, and 180. Lahat dyan under quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. Kasi ang sinasabi, from 0 to 5. So, ano na yung mga values na yun? Ito yun. From 0 to 5. Okay? So, negative 1, negative square root of 3 over 2, negative square root of 2 over 2. Yung mga values na yun. Check natin kung pasok si 1. We're in. Ito yun. Hinga yung limitation niya hanggang 1. Diba? Meron siyang equal, so ibig sabihin na sa amin si 1, which is ang corresponding angle niya is 0. So therefore, at uh, inverse cosine negative 1, that is equivalent to 0. So ganun lang, kadali. So ibig sabihin, in finding the exact values of inverse trigonometric functions, we need to consider the, um, the ranges, and uh, yung mga values, yun yung mga mga naging values niya, and then, Kung ano yung corresponding angle ng mga yung exact values na yun, yun din yung uh, corresponding angle ng bawat isa. Hanggang dun lang dun sa ranges na yan. Hindi ka bibigyan ng other answer. Okay? So, it means, in determining the exact value or uh, values of inverse trigonometric functions, ang ina-play lang natin is more on memorizing. So, this is for cosine, kanina is for sine. Um, for tangent, inverse tangent, this is for inverse tangent. Okay? Not equal siya. Tama? Wala siyang equal dito. So, ibig sabihin, hindi, siya, hindi ka bibigyan ng exact negative 90. So, this is negative 90, di ba? At uh, hindi ka rin bibigyan ng exact positive 90. Kasi mag-aali pa yun siya doon. So, ito lang yung talaga mga exact values niya. So, eh, bakit po nakalagay naman dyan positive infinity, negative infinity to positive infinity? So, ano yung mga values na yun? From positive, uh, negative infinity to positive infinity. Diba? Eh, ang nakalagay lang dito, ilan lang ng numbers. Again, exact values tayo na under lang dun sa unit circle. Ito lang yung exact value. Pero it doesn't mean na yan lang yung numbers. Kasi sinabi, from negative infinity to positive infinity. So, therefore, therefore meron tayong uh, unlimited numbers. Okay? Pero, since the new limitations natin from negative 90 to positive 90, kahit meron tayong unlimited numbers, uh, magpupol lang siya in between dun sa, number, sa answer na yun. So, for example, kung gumamit tayo ng uh, inverse tangent of 2, that is, wala yung exact values kasi ito yung exact values eh. Uh, so, 2 is greater than square root of 3. Tama? So, therefore, kung this is 60, ang magiging answer mo lang is in between 60 to 90. And doon lang yun. O kung great ka, uh, kung gawin mong 2 million yan, gawin mong uh, up to 999 million yan, nandun lang yan, in between 60 to 90 lang din yan. Okay? So, same lang din dito, kung ginawa mo negative, nandun lang yan, in between lang din yung scores nila. Pero since exact values tayo, ito lang yung mga values na kakabisagoy natin for inverse tangent. Same with cot, uh, inverse cotangent, okay? from 0 to 5 naman siya, ito yung ranges niya, from 0 to 5, okay? Which is from negative infinity to positive infinity. Kahit anong number, pwede pa rin natin gamitin, pero ito lang rin, mapupul lang din tayo din sa answer niya. So, uh, kailangan lang rin natin i-memorize yung mga yan. Okay? Kung hindi natin memorize yung unit circle is the answer. Kailangan kamasabi natin yung values na sa unit circle kasi may ikot-ikot lang naman tayo yun. Okay? Next, uh, for cosecant, this is for cosecant, these are the values na dapat natin gabi sa duhin. Okay? Based lang din sa ranges. And again, Kung ayaw mo kabisaduhin, basta alam mo ito. Ito lang talaga yung mismo yung clue mo. So, yun yung kakabisaduhin mo. Kung ayaw mo kabisaduhin yung table, okay lang yun. Kasi nga, hindi ka naman makakarating dito sa topic natin sa inverse trigonometry. Kung hindi ka dumaan dun sa mismo first lesson natin about unicircle, so dapat may idea na kayo dun sa unicircle. Okay? So, yun lang naman siya. So, and then, and, and then for second, this is for second. Okay? So, I hope nakatulong ako sa inyo for finding the exact values of inverse trigonometric functions. Ayun lang talaga siya. Okay, other than these uh, points, you need to apply uh, the, the use of calculator. 
sa exact values na yun yung kukuha natin since exact values without using calculator na kukuha natin pero ito lang yung mga exact values and yung media so more on memorizing ng talaga siya so that ends that ends our uh, video this is a short video about uh, finding the exact values of inverse trigonometric function so thank you for watching